Hello everybody, it's 90 Day Challenge, Day 23. And today we're going to do well-formed goals and directions. And one of the latest pieces of research is that it takes 66 days to build a habit. So if you take uh, 23 days that we've already done, another 66 days will take us almost to the end of the 90 Day Challenge. So today is a great day to be setting goals. And um, what I want you to recall is on, in the workbook, uh, skill number two is how to create well-formed goals and directions, how to know what you want in the short and long term. So today we're going to focus on the next 67 days, 66 days, and uh, what I want you to, the first thing I want you to think about is what do I want to achieve in the next 66 days? Uh, that may be something like get an interview, start a work placement, do some research into educational opportunities, uh, do some research into self-employment or setting up a business, whatever it is, or it might be something different. Whatever it is for you, take your um, uh, notebook that we got on the first day and write in there uh, the question, so what do I want to achieve in the next 67 days? Uh, then once you've got a clear picture of uh, what you want to achieve and you can hear what it sounds like and feel what it feels like, then you can ask the next question, what direction will I be going in when I've achieved this goal? Uh, that, that is a, a question to take you beyond the goal, so you can start to consider what's next after you've achieved that. Uh, then we're going to get a little bit more specific. Uh, some of the people yesterday said that the more specific you can make your goal, the better. So, so the next question is, what do you want specifically? So uh, I want a work placement might become, I want a work placement in... Um, at music, at a radio station, I want it to be the Spirit FM or Splash FM or BBC Radio Sussex. Uh, I want to start on the 1st of April, uh, April Fool's Day, <laughs> and um, I want uh, it to be a placement for three months, potentially leading to a job, is much more specific. Then you can get more specific on your direction. What specific direction will that take you in? Maybe that's oh, towards a career in the music business, for example. Um, the next uh, question then to ask is, is, how will you know when you've achieved your goal? Uh, and how you'll know when you've achieved your goal might be you'll get a letter saying, oh, I've got this placement, or someone might ring you up to tell you, or you might see an email on your computer, or it might be something else. But I just want you to think about that, because the more that you set these things clearly in your mind, the more your RAS, that was talked about yesterday, or your reticular activating system that system will be activated and you'll start to look out for and pay attention to opportunities uh, to take you in your desired direction. Uh, and then the next thing is how much is this goal in your control? This is really important because the more action you take and the more you take responsibility, the more likely it is that you'll achieve your goal. Uh, and then finally, I'm just going to have a look at my notes here, uh, how will this achieving this goal uh, impact your life? So you can start to take account of all the other aspects. So, for example, if you're going to be working 50 hours a week, that might impact your salsa dancing on a Tuesday, salsa dancing on a Tuesday evening, for example. <laughs> so, um, uh, once you've done all those things, uh, uh, ask, write down all these questions. If you need a reminder of them, you can download the workbook. If you want more information on setting well-formed goals, uh, we're going to put a link on the um, uh, on Facebook and on YouTube uh, to our website www.nlpbusinesspractitioner.biz, uh, where there's a forum where there's lots more information on goal setting. So really, that's all for today. Uh, enjoy. Um, start writing goals out. Uh, remember, 66 days to create a new habit of achieving your goals, and we'll see you tomorrow. Take care then. Bye.